All right, here we go, boys. Quick startup video. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm able to do my um, harness, my charge harness, and then keep it fairly budget and then fairly clean. Um, you guys can go out and buy uh, your own wiring and then just redo it fresh from the starter and alternator. But I'll just show you guys the way I like to do it because I like to utilize as many stock parts as possible. That's the whole uh, reasoning of this. We're not trying to get fancy. Um, we don't need it to look extremely tucked. We're just trying to get the car built and actually get, get to the track with the car. Um, that's the whole point of the setup. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So here's my um, charge harness, which already got plugged in down here. So now what I do is, Take apart the charge harness here where it connects to the battery if it were to be originally from the EP3. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut right here and I'm gonna use the stock one that was already on the car from the original single cam. So this is gonna go to your fuse box and then this piece down here, we're gonna cut it at the end and uh, attach it here with the connector. And I'll show you guys exactly what you do. So now this piece that you're gonna cut off right here, you're gonna attach it to this side, which is your alternator side, the charge alternator wire. So once you do that, we're gonna trim this down and then we're gonna make it fit over here on the fuse box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it done and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Our battery to the starter same thing all i did is just tape it up real quick so i can show you guys so now what i'm gonna do is uh put my battery tray in i'm um, gonna ground the engine i normally use four grounds i do two on the transmission one on the manifold and one to the valve cover and uh, what i do is i went to the junkyard and all i did was got four um ground wires from the ek because the EKs uh, have a black wire. All the other cars have like an orangey, awkward looking color. So I think just black looks real clean. Uh, $6 guys, super budget. You don't have to uh, go and buy those fancy uh, $40, $50 ground kits. And uh, these work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up grounding this down, uh, installing our battery and battery tray. And then we'll go to the inside of the inside of the car and i'll show you guys uh what i have to finish down there with the ecu uh, i'll explain the ecu and um, how we're gonna get this to hopefully start it up today hey right, guys real quick got the ground installed so i'll show you guys what i did took one to the transmission here took another one to the transmission here from the chassis to the head so that's four grounds total installed our battery now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to the ECU part and show you guys what I'm gonna do there. boys um, I'm done wiring the wiring completely with the uh, ECU I am gonna be using a type R ECU uh, PRC the only thing you have to do to this ECU to make it work and uh, run it with your car, any K-Swap, it's going to be grounding the fuel pump because it's wired differently for the K20 Type R. So I went ahead and grounded my uh, fuel pump, which is uh, um, the A plug, A16. It's a green and blue wire and uh, sorry, green and yellow wire on the gray plug that goes to the ECU. And all you gotta do is simply ground it. So I just ground it to the chassis back there where I have my relay and my swap harness ground. So uh, yeah, guys, that's it. I'm done wiring it all up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start it, but before I do, uh, I'm just gonna put this cheap oil into it to kind of let it um, just kind of heat cycle through the first cheap oil and then after we get it all dialed in I'll be doing um, the oil I'll be running so uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and try to start it and let's hope it starts right up all right guys got everything hooked up 
Got everything plugged in on our ECU. Everything up in the engine bay is plugged in just for startup. Still need to uh, dial everything in, kind of tuck in the charge harness and there are just a few little things. Um, I did go ahead and install the manifold. All right, here we go, boys. Got everything wired up with the ECU. Got everything done in the engine bay. I put the cheap oil in there for now. And uh, let's see what happens. Well, there it is, guys. We got some spark. These Japanese motors sit for a while, so sometimes you just need to give it that extra crank. got the engine started now it's time to prep everything get our hoses in get our idle air control valve um, working because without coolant it's not working correctly and that's where our bad idle is coming from so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and finish everything up so stay tuned comment subscribe and let me know what you guys think